Today I'm sharing 12 fun and easy activities for your 18 to 24 month old toddler that will help support development. So if you wanna see what kind of fun we have in store, then stick around. My name is Jess and I have a 19 month old son named Luke. I am a former preschool and kindergarten teacher who is passionate about helping moms navigate the world of early motherhood by sharing helpful videos on pregnancy, parenting, and early education. If you're not already a part of our Innovative Mom Squad, then be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell before you go so that you never miss an upload. Today on the Innovative Mama, we are talking all about the toddler development that's taking place from around 18 to 24 months. I put together some information and activities that will help your child reach their developmental milestones in the areas of cognitive development, gross and fine motor development, language development, and social emotional development. Oh, and did I mention that these activities are easy? Yeah. If you're a toddler mom, you know our time is limited. So I wanted to keep these low prep yet still fun and effective. I have some bonus activities at the end, so be sure to stick around for the whole video so that you don't miss those. First, let's talk about language development. Around the time of 18 to 24 months, you will likely see your toddler's vocabulary start to blossom. Conversations start to become way more fun and your toddler enjoys their new way of communicating. It's important to note that any of the milestones that I'm about to mention today can vary greatly from child to child. While every child grows and develops at their own pace, if you're ever concerned about your child's development, always bring it up to your doctor or healthcare provider. With that being said, between 18 and 24 months, your child can understand anywhere between 100 to 300 or more words. At 18 months, they will be able to speak around 20 words or possibly more. And by 24 months, they'll be able to use 50 to 100 words regularly, as well as combine two words together to form simple sentences. For example, mommy up or car go. Your 18 to 24 month old will point to things or pictures when they are named and be able to follow simple directions. Around this age, your child can also repeat words that they hear as well as make animal sounds. These are just some of the main language milestones that you're likely to be seeing your child hit during this time. Now let's talk about some simple activities to boost language development for your 18 to 24 month old. Picture books and photo albums are a great way to boost your child's language skills and enhance vocabulary. I love creating our own picture books because it puts my son's items that he sees every day into a book form and helps him make a solid connection of familiar faces and objects. This is also a great way to help instill a love of reading in your child from an early age as they love seeing their own objects in a book. I went around the house and took pictures of some of Luke's favorite things, then printed and cut them out. I then had him sit down and glue the pictures onto some folded pieces of construction paper before labeling the objects in the pictures. He absolutely loved this activity and looking through his own little picture book while pointing to and labeling the pictures. This doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just use some folded construction paper to make the book. However, feel free to get as creative as you'd like. If you're interested in more professional options, this company called Pinhole Press makes some adorable, customizable photo books. They are really super durable and really high quality. So they are great for babies and toddlers. I will leave an affiliate link in the description box below if you wanna check those out. After you make your book with your toddler, go through the book with them and have them talk about the pictures. Ask them questions about each one and have them point to and label the different people and objects if they're able to. Water bowl. Where's your spoon? Spoon, good job. This is a super simple activity that's really fun for kids and helps to strengthen their language and vocabulary development. I went ahead and placed some post-its over the pictures in a first words book to create our own little lift the flat books. Luke loved going through the book and lifting up the post-its to reveal what was hiding underneath each one. Each time he did, I asked him to name the object that was under the post-it. <gasps> Strawberry. Go. Go ahead. Apple. Apple. Go. Go ahead. I would also ask him additional questions about each picture at times, like, for example, what color the object was. 
This activity not only helps with vocabulary development, but it's also a great fine motor activity as your child turns the pages of the book and lifts up the post-its. Fine motor skills have to do with the smaller muscle groups in the body, specifically hands and fingers. Between 18 to 24 months, you will see your toddler's fine motor skills become a lot more precise. Some fine motor milestones you may see from 18 to 24 months are turning pages in a book one at a time, placing pegs in a pegboard, stringing larger sized beads, building towers of four or more blocks, scribbling, trying to draw lines up and down and across the page, as well as attempting to draw circles, pouring, filling, and digging, using utensils when eating, and taking linking toys apart and putting them back together again. First up in our fine motor activities, we have a really simple lid scooping activity. I have this awesome scooper, which I got in a sensory pack from Amazon that I will link in the description box below. To set this up, just take some recycled lids and place them in a shallow bin of water. Have your child try and use a scooper like this one or a spoon to transfer the lids from one bin to the next. Even if they choose to use their fingers, this is a great simple activity for strengthening fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. So I'm gonna be 100% real with you here. When I tried to do this activity with Luke, he did not wanna do it how I was suggesting. He was having so much fun just splashing in the water and he did not like the idea of transferring the caps from one bin to the other. No. Here, you try. No. And guess what? That's okay. Don't expect your toddler to like every single one of these activities. There will be ones that work and ones that don't and ones that you may have to introduce multiple times before they wanna do them. Don't be afraid to modify any of these activities to meet your child's specific needs and preferences. A little while after introducing this activity, I actually asked Luke to take the lids of a certain color out of the bin, which he did like doing. So this is just one example of how you can modify this activity for your child. Just remember, they're still learning. If you have some golf tees lying around, poke some holes in a cardboard box and have your child push the tees through the holes. This is awesome for strengthening hand-eye coordination as well as fine motor skills. Alternatively, you can have your toddler use a toy hammer or a mallet to hammer the tees into the box or you can try doing it into the ground. We did try doing this outside at first, but the ground was too hard and Luke preferred to just use his fingers to push the tees through the holes of the box. Again, Remember that it's totally fine to let your child lead the activity with what they wanna do. Gross motor activities have to do with the larger muscle groups of the body, specifically arms, legs, and torso. Some gross motor milestones you'll probably be seeing your 18 to 24 month old hit are squatting during play, throwing and kicking a ball forward, attempting to catch a ball with arms and body, jumping with a galloping motion, using legs to propel non-motorized ride-on toys, walking up and down stairs while holding onto a railing or an adult's hand, running and climbing. Around 18 to 24 months, your child really starts to be able to follow more complex directions, which makes playing games with them way more fun. Keep it simple by starting with the classic game of hide and seek. Start by modeling or showing your child what it means to hide. Explain that to hide means to try and not be seen. Show them how you count while the other person hides and then how you go find them by searching around the area for places they could be hiding. I recommend playing this with another adult or older child at first so that your toddler can tag along with one of you while the other hides and you count and then vice versa. Along with being able to follow more complex directions, your child can now recognize and imitate the actions of others. I call this game copycat. You simply perform an action and then have your child copy it. It is so fun to watch your toddler be able to follow directions and do as you do. After having your child copy some of your actions, try and have them give you an action to copy. They will love the little sense of authority this gives them and the feeling of being the leader. If you're finding this video helpful so far, then go ahead and click that thumbs up button to let us know and leave us a comment below if you've tried any of these activities already with your little one or which one you're most excited to try. Social emotional development has to do with the way your child experiences, expresses, and manages their emotions 
as well as the ability to establish positive and rewarding relationships with others. The following are some social emotional development behaviors you're likely to see around 18 to 24 months. Showing affection, becoming more independent, but can also still cling to familiar adults in new situations. Showing signs of empathy and caring for others. Copying others, especially adults. Starting to play pretend, being able to identify and label emotions. And let's not forget about displaying signs of aggression and throwing temper tantrums. That's right, folks. These are totally developmentally normal for this age group. So you can expect to see them pop up from time to time if you haven't already. Children start to experience true empathy closer to around two years of age. Empathy is a person's understanding of how other people feel, even when that person doesn't feel the same way themselves. Around 18 months, children start to understand that other people have feelings that differ from their own, which is a precursor to empathy. Around this time, children are also exploring and trying to understand their own emotions. A great little activity to help toddlers get to know about their own emotions, as well as understand that others have emotions, is to play this emotion flashcard game. I grabbed these two sets of emotion picture cards off of Etsy. I will leave a link to both of them in the description box, but they were both really affordable. And I love that they include real pictures rather than drawings of faces because it makes the emotion easier to read for a toddler. I flip the cards face down and then flip them over one at a time with Luke. I would name the emotion, then ask Luke to show me the emotion. I have been working on some of these emotions already with him. So he was familiar with some, but it was so fun to see him explore new ones and try and copy the facial expressions of them. When we came across a new emotion, I tried to simply explain what that feeling meant or when someone might have that feeling. Don't hold back from explaining information to your child, even if they may not completely understand what you're saying. I always encourage parents to explain everything to their young children because they actually understand way more than most people realize. And if they don't, you're exposing them to it, which will help them to understand it sooner rather than later. I could literally watch a child engage in pretend play all day. One of my favorite assignments to do in college when I was preparing to be a teacher was when I was assigned field work to simply go observe play. There is so much going on with your child's brain and development while they are engaging in any kind of play. I highly encourage you to take 15 minutes or so to just sit back from a distance while your child is engaged in some sort of dramatic or pretend play and observe how they interact with others or the toys around them. Anyway, Dramatic play is a great way for your child to develop and identify social emotional skills. Around 18 to 24 months especially, you will notice your child really starting to imitate things they're seeing adults doing. So make sure to be on your best behavior. Sit down with them and engage with them in some sort of dramatic play. One of my son's favorites is playing kitchen. He used to only pretend to cook and eat, but now I'm seeing him do more detailed tasks when he plays, like pretend to wash the dishes or wash his hands. He also loves to pretend to make me food, which is super cute. And he likes to sit at his table when he pretends to eat. He also likes to use plates and utensils more. So it's definitely fun to watch these things evolve over time. We recently took him for his 18 month checkup. So he's been using our Melissa and Doug vet set to play doctor lately. He loves to do things like check my heart with the stethoscope and pretend to give me a shot. You could get really creative with dramatic play activities, especially as your child gets older. Setting up simple props to go along with whatever you're playing, such as making a mailbox if they wanna play mail carrier, or setting up a little storefront will help them to immerse themselves in the play experience and expand their imagination even more. Engaging in dramatic play also helps develop other skills as well, such as social interaction skills, language and communication skills, relief from tension and stress, conflict resolution skills, understanding symbolism and distinguishing real life from fantasy. Cognitive development is how your child thinks, explores, and figures things out in the world around them. Some cognitive milestones from 18 to 24 months are being able to find hidden objects, matching two similar objects, sorting shapes and colors, following more complex directions, naming familiar people, 
naming characters in a familiar story, engaging in simple pretend play, and completing sentences in familiar songs or nursery rhymes. This simple memory game will help strengthen your child's cognitive skills as well as their memory. You can gather three to four picture cards that your child is already familiar with, place them down in front of your child face up, naming each object as you go. Next, keep the cards in the same places while flipping them over face down and saying their names once again. Ask your child if they can find one of the objects and have them flip over the cards to see if they're correct. Baby. Baby. Yay! Good. Where's the, which one's that? Good. Corn. Where's the cat? Mmm. Where's the cat? Yeah! Yay! As your child gets better with this activity, you can make things more challenging by adding more cards or switching the cards around. Another simple activity for developing your toddler's cognitive skills is to use figurines to do a book matching activity. I just took a first words book and opened it up to the animal page and gathered some matching animal figurines that we had laying around. I then pointed out the animals and had Luke find the matching figurine and place it in the correct spot. Yeah. Put it on the cow. <gasps> Yay, good job. Super cute and simple. So now for the bonus activities that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. I wanted to include some sensory activities, even though there's no sensory developmental milestone, because sensory play has such a huge part in basically every category of developmental milestones. In addition to being fun and interesting for babies and young children, sensory play encourages children to explore and investigate. Sensory play also helps to build nerve connections in the brain, encourages the development of motor skills, supports language development, encourages scientific thinking and problem solving and promotes social emotional development. Sensory play can even help your child be a better eater by exposing them to different textures. Pretty cool, right? Honestly, shaving cream play is fun for any age. I even still have fun with it. I threw this in there because this is so easy and such a fun sensory experience. You can do so much with this, but just plopping some on a surface and letting your child squish around is such a fun activity to explore. As your child gets into learning letters and numbers, you can use the shaving cream as a fun medium to practice writing. This activity can get messy, so I love throwing a smock on Luke and keeping him in his high chair for this. I've also used aluminum trays to help contain the mess in the past, but feel free to throw it directly directly on a table or take this activity outside if you'd prefer. Speaking of messy, this next activity definitely falls into that category, but it's so fun. All you do is add some small items to a muffin tin and let your child explore. I added two different kinds of sprinkles, some rice, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, and flour. I chose to take this one outside because I knew it was going to get messy, but I didn't want Luke to hold back and he definitely didn't. I also brought out two cups of water, a spoon, and this little plastic container. I honestly didn't have a plan for this activity other than to let Luke explore the different objects as he wished. My job was simply to provide the materials for exploration. He definitely loved this. He touched the objects and scooped them into the different containers. Then he eventually just wound up dumping the water into the muffin tin and eventually dumping the whole muffin tin into the plastic container. Whatever your child chooses to do is fine. Just let them explore and have fun. Check out this video right up here if you're interested in some fun play-based activities that will help your child reach their developmental milestones. My Tiny Tots Toddler Curriculum has tons of play-based activities that are differentiated and designed for children ages 18 months to three years. I will also leave some more info about that in the description box below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and drop your favorite activity in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.